everybody's got a game in them. There's a game for everybody out there, absolutely. We don't necessarily want to contribute to romance being shoved down your throats on Valentine's Day. Move over speed dating. Vancouver's Nerdiest Bar is hosting a speed gaming event on February 14th. Guests will pair up to play a board game for stints of 10 minutes before switching partners. There's something about the physical connection or the personal connection of sitting across from the table from somebody, learning and talking about a game rather than just online. We have a lot of regular that have met here, like in board game groups or in magic card tournaments. Um, there's, there's one couple I know that recently got engaged where they had their first date here. But if you aren't ready to put a ring on it, any relationship can benefit from the teamwork required through gaming. Teamwork is really essential in life. So I mean, if you're able to do that with your partner or your friends, work together towards something and figure something out, I think that's good. Actions and roles for everybody. Playing games brings out the worst and the best in people at the same time. You can find an ally who you didn't think you really had, and you can find the demon inside someone you think is the nicest guy. And while this Valentine's Day event is ticketed, meeting new people doesn't have to put a dent in your wallet. I think having a place like this where there's almost like a point to going out that again doesn't involve drinking or spending a whole lot of money, um, you actually get to talk and hang out. So whether you're looking for love, learning opportunities, or laughs, there are plenty of games in the sea. So you just have to break out a game and someone will play with you. For Lane Garrett's The Voice, I'm Becca Clarkson.